It's like the news, but for nerds. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. Nerdvengers, what is up? It is Josh, and this is the Nerdy News Rundown for Friday, May 7th, 2021. We've got a couple of juicy Marvel stories, a little tease of perhaps the accelerated plan for Captain America 4 happening very, very soon with Anthony Mackie as he is already getting in movie shape. There's a rumor of Shuma Gorath coming into the MCU. I want to talk about that in talk uh, speculate about where i think that character could show up but first let's begin with dragon ball news that's right dragon ball something we rarely cover on the channel but something that is very close to my heart a crazy story developing with dragon ball which we are gonna have to watch over the weekend and possibly do some crazy reporting on monday as it was teased on a toei official website that this sunday may 9th which is a holiday called goku day Apparently, there is going to be a surprise announcement of a Dragon Ball movie coming in 2022. Now, I got a lot of this information from Geekdom 101. Danny, of course, a great Dragon Ball channel online, talking a lot about the updates. He has a great video that breaks down the ins and outs, what's going on with the website, and how we don't know for sure if this is an announcement, but Danny doesn't believe that Toei's trying to troll us. I don't think Toei's trying to troll us. Could there be some kind of error? For sure. Could there be somebody that's an employee over there trying to cause a ruckus for sure but you know a lot of people in the dragon ball community including myself have constantly wondered why are we not getting more dragon ball content dragon ball is a great franchise it always crushes in japan but also in foreign markets like over here in north america we love our dragon ball i'd love to be covered more dragon ball if dragon ball was making more content and danny himself had been reporting for years now that dragon ball is not finished that toei animation is still still interested in making Dragon Ball content. There was a rumored animation team working on perhaps a show. There was ideas of movies tossed around. There's been a lot of speculation on what was going on with Dragon Ball and enter the story from today and speculation that this Sunday we will get a tease for a coming Dragon Ball film which will happen in 2022. No idea what the film could be. They've been doing some wild stuff in the manga as of late. One must wonder if they're going to adapt anything from the manga or perhaps do a different character or a different arc something moving the story forward who knows but you know taking a look at how the demon slayer movie has done in even the pandy that film has absolutely dominated and you could see a scenario where foreign movies like this including anime films attached to these popular franchises could legitimately do mega numbers in even the north american box office as compared to some of these other movies very interesting spicy story we will keep you updated on that of course now let's get into a little tease about shuma gorath i saw this pop up on fullcirclecinema.com and it is coming from reliable insider daniel richtman all that is in the article from full circle cinema is a little bit of speculation and the fact that daniel richtman did indeed say that shuma gorath was was going to be in an upcoming MCU project. But if we look at the timing of how other things are starting to leak out there, we can see that a lot of stuff for Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness is currently leaking out. Just yesterday, there was a weird casting for a New Yorker 616 Extra, which took me down a whole path of speculation, thinking that, yes, indeed, they're going to have the Sacred Timeline, which is something coming from the Loki series, or our Prime Timeline on Earth, be called the Sacred this universe where, you know, our Tony Stark, our Captain America, our Peter Parker, which is going to be very important with the other Spider-Man perhaps hanging out and jumping between universes, it is going to be central and important that the 616 is our universe the main marvel universe on top of that there's a lot of new speculation that monica rambeau is rumored to also be in multiverse of madness and we just got some rumors about the america chavez character and some retcons happening to that character again for Doctor Strange 2 into the Multiverse of Madness. So it is probably safe to say, just given how a lot of other stuff is currently leaking out for the Multiverse of Madness, Shuma Gorath would make a lot of sense and likely be attached to Doctor Strange 2 into the Multiverse of Madness. And Shuma, if you don't know, is just a crazy kind of Cthulhu looking character from the comic books. Uh, you know, strangely, very, very similar to the Darkhold creator 
Cthon or Scython, I'm still not sure how to friggin' pronounce that thing, but the rumored big bad that was attached to Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, and perhaps even the prophecy from the Darkhold, which is all stuff that is teased out in WandaVision, and we do know that WandaVision is leading into Doctor Strange too. And so it's possible this is just a cool story of a cool villain coming in to the MCU, but it's also possible that this small rumor of Shuma Gorath leads us to big big speculation and possibilities for Doctor Strange 2 for how Wanda will tie into that story and the possibility of Shuma Gorath being a big big deal in Doctor Strange 2 into the Multiverse of Madness but either way very cool that Shuma's coming in and the possibility of some awesome speculation let us know what you think about that in the comment section below and lastly for today we've got a story about how Anthony Mackie is getting into superhero shape likely indicating that his training for Captain America 4 has already started I'm looking at an article on Murphy's Multiverse.com says here Captain America's Anthony Mackie already preparing for his next big project the article says Falcon and the Winter Soldier just ended a few weeks Weeks ago and we're still wondering what the future has in store for the newly formed Captain America. Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson finally took on the mantle at the end of last season and in an interview with The Daily Show's Trevor Noah they discuss getting in shape for Marvel movies. In it he reveals that it takes around four months to get in shape for a role and ends up confirming he is already in preparation for the next one. He says here you take the four months like right now I'm at the end of the first month of four month process to get back away from Fat Mackie to Movie Mackie. The way he phrases it also hints that he will join a Marvel Studios project that could start filming in the next three to four months. There is also the possibility that he may be joining one midway. It is unlikely he is going through extensive training for four months just to have a cameo, so it seems likely he'll have a substantial role that may also require him to be physically active. So we could see the return of Wilson's Captain America sooner than expected. So a very interesting update just on its own, but when you also add in some comments from Malcolm Spellman that made it seem like Captain America 4 was way further along in production than we may have anticipated, I mean, it's pretty clear that Mackie's getting ready to likely be Captain America again, and Captain America in that next film may well be happening way sooner than we expected. Spellman also talked about several other movies that he was surprised that Marvel Studios had not announced or at least publicly talked about. And we think there's possibility of a lot of films and projects that Marvel is working on and still trying to figure out how to shuffle around. Regardless, it really does seem like Anthony Mackie is getting ready for a major role, likely going to be Captain America in Captain America 4. And I expect that film to probably re be released in the next two to three years. And that does it for your nerdy news rundown for Friday, May 7th, 2021. Let us know what you thought about any and every one of the stories today. Possibility of crazy Dragon Ball news, a new movie coming out next year. That would be pretty sick. Shuma Gorath likely coming into the MCU very soon. I think it'll be in Doctor Strange too. And then of course, Anthony Mackie sort of teasing that he is indeed getting in shape to be Captain America in Captain America 4. Let us know your thoughts on all of that and more. And make sure you're checking out the Den of Nerds live, our live streaming channel where we live stream all the time talking about all the nerdy things going on in the world. You can come over and have your voice be heard. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video.